All right then gang, so now we know about how to work with components a little bit, let's try adding some styles to them so they don't look so bad. Now in SolidJS, you can style your templates in a lot of different ways. We can use inline styles if we want. We can use the global style sheet right here, the index.css file. We could use CSS modules to scope styles to specific components, or we could just organize our styles into different CSS files and import them where we need them, but they would still essentially be global. They wouldn't be scoped. And on top of that, you could use third party CSS libraries like Bootstrap or Tailwind if you wanted to. So there's many, many different ways to approach this. And I just want to focus on a couple of ways for this series because I don't want to get too distracted with CSS. So the way we're going to look at it is we're going to use a global style sheet for any global UI elements like buttons or something. And then we're also going to install Tailwind CSS as well, which is going to make styling our different components really easy because we can just use Tailwind's utility classes to do it. We will also be seeing how to add conditional classes to elements as well so that they can be styled differently dependent on certain conditions. And maybe in the future, I will do a video at some point about using CSS modules with Solid 2. Anyway, let's start by going to the global style sheet, index.css, and we'll just edit that a little bit. So let me get rid of all this junk first of all, and we'll start off with a brand new body selector. The margin for this is gonna be 40 pixels, and then we'll also give this a background color property, which is gonna be light gray DDD. All right, so after that, I wanna make a selector called button or BTN. And this is gonna be for any elements that we wanna make look like a button. And inside here, we'll say the background color is gonna be orange. And then we'll say, for example, the padding will be, I don't know, 10 pixels in the Y direction, and then maybe 15 pixels in the X direction. We'll also give this a margin and it's gonna be 10 pixels top and bottom, zero left and right. The display is gonna be inline block. And then we'll say it's gonna have white text. So color is gonna be white. We'll also say that the border radius is gonna be about five pixels. And we'll also, in fact, that'll do for now. We can change this later, it doesn't really matter. I just wanna make some global styles. And the reason this is going in the global style sheet is because we might use this button later on in different pages, in different components. So it's not gonna be for one specific component, right? So then now we have this class, let's make a button somewhere. Let's go to the card components and let's add a button right here that says click me, exclamation. We need to give it that class. Now notice we don't need class name like in react we can just use class like so and the class is going to be btn all right so fingers crossed this doesn't look terrible let's go over here okay and now we can see this button right here let's get rid of that border because it doesn't look good let's open up the oops not that one index.css we'll say the border is going to be two pixels and it's also going to be orange like so save that okay looks a bit better cool Okay, so now we've styled these buttons. I think, to be honest, we don't need to put anything else in the global style sheet for now. So now what I'd like to do is show you how to install Tailwind CSS. So I'm just on the Tailwind docs right here. And if you go to guides and then solid.js, it's gonna show you how to install Tailwind with solid.js. So this is just starting up a new solid.js template, which we've already done. And then down here, we have to install Tailwind like this, and then we have to use npx tailwind css init to create a tailwind config file. So we'll copy those two commands right here. And then after that, we need to insert this stuff into the content array inside the tailwind config file. And then after that, we have to put these three directives inside our global index CSS file. So let's go back to the project and open up a terminal. And I'm gonna cancel out of the process, first of all, and I'm gonna paste in these two commands. So npm install tailwind and then npx tailwind css init, press enter. It's gonna do both of those things for us, hopefully. All right, cool. So now we can cross this off. We should see down here the tailwind config file, which we do. So the next step is to come down here and grab this thing and copy it. And we wanna paste it inside here. All right, good. And then we wanna grab those directives these core directives, copy them, and we want to go to our index.css file 
And at the very top, we want to paste those in. All right, so now we've done that, we can start up the dev server again. So let me just clear this to get some room. Press up a few times, npm run dev, just to start up the server. And once we've done that, now we can start to use the different Tailwind utility classes in this project. Now, this is not gonna be an in-depth Tailwind tutorial. If you wanna learn more about Tailwind, I've got a whole course about that. So I'll leave the link down below the video. You can check that out. But what we will do now is use some of these classes in our different components. Okay, so let me first go to the app component right here. So for this div, we'll apply some classes, some of these utility classes. The first one is gonna be container to bring everything into a central column and then margin hyphen auto. So that means that we're now gonna have a central column of content. And again, don't worry too much if you don't understand these Tailwind classes. This is purely just to make it look a little nicer in the browser. I'm sure you're here to learn solid and not Tailwind. I just wanna quickly run through this to make it look okay. Okay, so after that, we'll come down to the image. We'll give this a class. And inside here, we will say rounded and then hyphen MD. So that's the medium strength that gives it a border radius. And I think that will do for that. Down here, we'll surround all of these things with a div because I want to output these in some kind of grid. So I'm actually gonna copy all these now and paste them in here. And then for this div, we can apply some classes. The first one is gonna be grid that displays as grid. Then we say how many columns by saying grid hyphen coals. And then we'll say four columns, even though there's only three items. And then the gap between those items, strength 10, and then margin in the Y direction for each, or rather just for this thing, is gonna be a strength four. Okay, so if we preview this so far, let's take a look at that. Okay, it's not working, so let's refresh, hopefully. Okay, no, let's go down here and I think we've opened this up on a different port. So let me change this to zero and press enter. And yep, now this is working. So we can see these have rounded corners over here, this banner, and also this is in a grid now. Now the cards themselves don't look great. So let's go and apply some classes to the card component. Let's open that up. All right, so let's come to this div, which is the card itself. Give this some classes. So first of all, a background of white, BG hyphen white then P hyphen four for some padding, text hyphen center and rounded MD to give it some border radius again. Then also we'll give this a shadow, a box shadow, medium strength. And I think that will pretty much do. Let me save that. And now we have some nicer styles for those cards. Awesome. Now there's one more thing I wanna show you and that is how we can basically just apply some classes in the CSS file itself. So let's go to index.css and you see how we have these regular CSS properties right here. Well, instead of that, what we can do is use at apply and then we can basically have a list of different classes that we want to apply to this. So the classes we've been using so far, for example. So I'm gonna paste those in and it's like this. So we have BG Amber of strength 600, PY2, PX3, MY2, so margin and padding, inline block, text white, rounded MD, border two, and border amber 600. So we're basically now not using those default CSS properties, but instead applying some different Tailwind classes to this selector. So let me save that and preview. And now we can see the buttons still look okay, but we're just applying them this different way, the styles, all right? Cool then. So I think now we have pretty much done everything we can do with the styles. I think what we'll do is move on to the next lesson now where we're gonna look at how we can pass props into components.